My name is Alex Burkan and my record title is the first retractable lightsaber. All my life I was a great Star Wars fan and the lightsaber was the most wanted gadget that I wanted to have ever. Since 2013 main field of my research and work was hydrogen generation equipment, so I decided maybe I could build something with my own hands. My lightsaber is a powerful but compact hydrogen and oxygen burner. It can form 1 meter plasma torch with temperature over 2800 degrees Celsius. For many years I have collected ideas and spare parts for my lightsaber and power equipment on the internet markets and the scrapyards. Every single step during development and building process was a challenge. First I had to design and build powerful high pressure equipment. The key component of my lightsaber is electrolyzer. Electrolyzer is a device that can generate huge amount of hydrogen and oxygen and compress the gas to any pressure without mechanical compressor. Uh, I also use the electrolyzer as a hydrogen booster of my bike. After I built it, I made hundreds of experiments and bench tests to get quite stable plasma torch. Finally, the most jewelry job was to squeeze in the whole gas distribution system in a lightsaber handle. It is a Starkiller lightsaber from the Force Unleashed game. The temperature of hydrogen and oxygen flame is nearly 3000 degrees Celsius, so you can burn through steel with this lightsaber. And remember that plasma is a stream of high ionized particles, so this lightsaber can also attract the lightning and other high voltage discharges. But the most awesome thing this gadget can do, it gives you a true feeling of real lightsaber in your hand. This is a first row prototype, so it has lots of limitations. It works only 30 seconds on full power. The hydrogen torch is not so stable as it can be, and you can easily see it when it moves. So I need to upgrade the nozzle and gas stream parameters first. Steel fuel tank is not so strong for higher pressure, so I plan to replace it with carbon tank system. Sometimes the lightsaber just blow up in a hand because of the hydrogen flashback, but I think the signs will help us and finally we can get the lightsaber close to the movie version. I know I'm not the only one who tries to make the dream of a Jedi lightsaber becomes real, and that's cool! James Hobson and his guys from Hacksmith Industries also made awesome real-life proto-saber. Uh, the most crazy thing is that we make it almost simultaneously. As you can see, Hacksmith version is much more powerful, it definitely works longer than 30 seconds. Our duel would be extremely fast and furious, because, you know, <laughs> I have only 30 seconds to win. Isn't it cool that two guys from a different part of the world dream about one thing that doesn't even exist? Uh, sometimes we discuss our common project with James, sometimes we threaten each other with our new inventions, and we always support each other, especially when James is trying to kill himself with some new crazy gadgets. Things and ideas that unite people all over the world are awesome. Of course, that's a great feeling to get into Guinness World Records with something that you just made with your own hands, but the only wish now is to make something more epic. Right now I'm working on Iron Man suit and uh, other equipment that also works on hydrogen. So I hope to see you again and break few more records.